guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a bit of a random one. I guess it's kind of like a Christmassy vlog. I feel like we're at the end of November now that we can start saying the C word, Christmas. Um, so yeah, I'm going to head to B&M today, um, go check out some of their stuff. I've seen loads of like cute Christmas stuff in there beforehand. I did vlog a full kind of B&M haul. Um, because there's one, by the way, I got asked this quite a bit. I went to the one which is in Brislington in Bristol. It's a massive brand new one. Um, so that's what I'm going to go to today. And I'm actually going to commit to getting a trolley because normally I don't get a trolley. I just have a basket to stop myself from picking stuff up, but I'm going to commit and I'm going to get a trolley this time. So I've got a few things that I wanted to pick up i want to get rocky a christmas jumper i saw they do some like nice cheap ones in there i want to flock my christmas tree this year so i got a brand new christmas tree last year and it was quite cheap i think i got it from amazon i'll try and find out where i got it from but i wanted a pre-lit tree that's one thing i hate doing the lights on a christmas tree i like putting baubles on hate doing the lights so i wanted a pre-lit one um but now i've decided that i want it flocked so i have googled and i'm gonna try and see if they have some flocking stuff um if not i can get some on amazon um and then i need to get some stocking hooks so i bought a radiator cover for in here the other day this is from ebay and uh, to be honest i'm a little bit disappointed because the slats are so far apart that you can actually see, you can just see the radiator, which is basically, surely that defeats the object of getting a radiator cover. Surely it should cover the radiator. Anyway, so I wanted a radiator cover because I wanna do Christmas stockings this year um, and we haven't done them previously. Let me show you the ones I got. So I basically, I wanted personalized uh, stockings and they're very, very expensive. Um, and I just didn't want to spend that much. So I picked up these little ones, which I thought were so cute from Wilkinson's. And these were three for two and they're only four pounds each. So I got three of them for eight pounds, which is dirt cheap for a really nice kind of neat, knitted, knitted stocking like this. It just says, have a jolly Christmas. So, I've got one for me, one for Steve, and yes, I'm a loser, I got one for Rocky as well, but I wanted to personalise them. So, where did I go? I went to eBay, and I picked up a pack of these wooden stars. So, a pack of these was like four quid, I think. So, I got these, and basically what I want to do is kind of just like stitch a little name tag on each of them, write our names on them, and then I got little bows as well to put on. Um, so I'm going to kind of like, I don't know if that's going to look all right or not. I don't know. So I might film um, doing that in this vlog. And I got these little coloured ribbons. These are so cute. So I got a light grey one for Rocky, which pretty much matches. A really, really soft, oh, look at that. Really soft baby pink one for me. And then a kind of, denim blue one for Steve so that way we can kind of have them personalized like I said it was eight quid for the three stockings these were four quid and these were one pound per ribbon so what's that oh my god mass 12 15 pounds um so for about five quid a stocking um just to have personalized handmade stockings so put that all back in the cupboard um yeah I'm going to do that today and then, yeah, I want to pick up some, hopefully Wilco has some stocking hooks that I can just sort of hook them onto the radiator with, basically. Um, yeah, right, let's head out. Mm -hmm. Another thing, sorry, I've rested my camera on my sideboard. This is really weird. Another thing I got, um, I went to B&M like a couple of weeks ago, is this. 
this is so freaking nice. Febreze always do like limited edition, uh, limited edition um, kind of Christmas scents. This is frosted pine. It's a really subtle kind of piney smell. Oh, it smells so nice. It's not like a really overpowering, like Christmassy scent. Um, it's like a nice subtle one. It just smells like a really fresh, piney vibe. Oh, you're using a basket. Oh. Um, he never sleeps in that basket. He just shags it. So I'm really surprised he's actually lying in it. But if you guys follow me on Instagram, but basically I am friggin' knackered today because I went to the gym this morning, did legs, and then I was like, oh, I'll just take Rocky, there's a field behind our house. And I've let him off in that field so many times, never had an issue. Um, his recall's not perfect, but we've never had a really bad problem before with it. Um, we thought we were kind of like over that, we'd sorted it out, all good. And I let him off today and he wouldn't come back. He wouldn't come back so i was like looping around the field again and again and again just to try and tuck her tuck him out then it got to the point shush please um it got to the point where i yeah i just couldn't catch him and i did nine thousand steps in the space of an hour trying to catch him i was running around the field yeah so i took basically spent walked to the field which is about a 15 minute walk um, because you have to go around that way, then looped around the field for half an hour and then spent an hour trying to catch him and then walked back again. So I am absolutely knackered, as is he by the looks of things, and I'm not surprised because he's had so much exercise today. Um, yeah. Oh well. Time to B and M it up and get all festive -y. If I see any nice kind of Christmas decorations as well, I'm gonna pick them up because Steve's um, Steve's at work, so I'm going by myself. And we normally go to B&M together, but he's normally the one that reigns the spending in. So he's not here, so I might get some cute Christmas decorations. Huh. This is pretty, a little bit blingy. But that's only seven pounds. I quite like these ones. We do quite a few different ones. Six pack for three pounds. Our theme's kind of like white, silver, and rose gold, so it's a bit of a mix. Four pounds. Right, I can't decide, okay. Polar bear, three pounds. Reindeer, although I don't really like these little baubles. That's five pounds. Or the little Santa one, three pounds. Oh, I can't decide. I've got a couple of little doggy bits as well for Rocky's stocking. I'm tempted to get one of these actually duster because we have one of these and it's really crap so i might it's only four pounds i might get that that one's quite nice i wasn't really a fan of these two especially the apple this one's nice but not very christmasy um they have the frosted pine which i already have i picked up the glade one they have loads of these, um, where have they gone? Like wax melts, spiced apple and cinnamon. All these come here for eyelashes as well because they're like half the price if you were to buy them anywhere else and they have the idle ones. Not tried any of those ones, but these ones are really good and I like these ones as well. Ooh, all of these cushion covers are so nice. They're really, really soft. So that's a two pack for five pounds. Yeah, another two pack here. I think I prefer these ones though. These are really nice and soft. And they have this kind of design as well. Ooh. This is really nice as well. Kind of matches those cushions I was just looking at. Yeah, like these ones. So they sell them as whole cushions. 
which are eight pounds each. Um, I don't know if they just sell the like the actual pillows. Can't see them anywhere. Also, something else may have slipped into my trolley. These are really nice as well. I was looking for something like this, maybe to go. I've got like an empty bit of wall in my bedroom. Maybe to do that. Ooh, these lanterns are really cute as well. For eight pounds, and it comes with a like an LED candle in it. These little geometric stars are sweet as well, and some of these are reduced, like one pound fifty. Let us know. I don't know if this is what I want to flock the tree with. Oh, it's only one ninety nine. Is in here and they have like different letters on. They're three pounds. These are quite pretty as well. They're three pounds a pack. They do loads of different sizes and stuff. And these are sweet. Three pounds. Oh, it lights up as well. Excuse me, someone's already sniffing out their Christmas presents, huh? Right, just got back. Um, I did film when I was walking around b and I'm not sure how good the stuff I filmed is because basically I get really like, I don't know, I get really embarrassed filming when I'm by myself. That's why Steve normally comes with me because I find it looks less weird than if I'm stood there talking to myself in an aisle. Um, so I have filmed a few bits. Really sorry if the footage is crappy, um, but I've got a few bits to show you guys. Now I've literally just dumped them. Um, right, first up, I did pick up this. So I filmed this when I was in the store and I said that I have a duster at the moment, which is like a really crappy little kind of I don't know, weird stringy one. So this was only four pounds and it's, is it Adis, that brand? Um, and it's a telescopic one. So I thought that'd be really cool. It's got like microfibery doodads on. Oh God, I can't, there we go. So yeah, got that. I have got the receipt so I can check prices. Right, I've got some cleaning stuff basically. I never go to B&M and not buy cleaning stuff. So I'm just gonna run you through it. I got this, I have this brand Astonish. Oh, it's vegan as well, I didn't know that. Um, yeah, I got, what did I get from them? Like washing powder, clothes, like stain remover. And it's really good. And I don't know whether they do this brand elsewhere, but it's super friggin' cheap. So this is just an antibacterial surface cleanser. Um, it says no bleach, it won't taint, and it doesn't have an odour. So I thought I would just give that a go because it was so cheap. It was 75p for a bottle, and it's quite a big bottle, it's 750 millilitres. So if that's good, then that gets a thumbs up from me. What else have I got? I got, oh, I thought this was interesting. So this is a Dettol disinfectant spray. Um, I don't normally buy kind of Dettol sprays and stuff like that. I have said this before, I like to buy stuff like this from B&M because I feel like you are getting a similar product and you're not paying for the name. But the reason I picked this one up is because it's, well, I think it's a Christmas scent. It has little snowflakes on it and it says fresh berries. So it says suitable for hard and soft surfaces. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what this is, but okay, where to use? Toilets, bins, sinks, door handles, bath tap, shower bases, pet beds. It says you can use it on couches and sofas, mattresses, soft surface upholsteries, car sheets, car sheets, car seats, shoes, and your gym bag. Oh, that's really interesting. I kind of got it more to just use on my kitchen surfaces. Um, 
rather than just spraying and like loads of stuff and lighting candles and everything if you kind of clean with a nice fragranty kind of Christmassy smell I thought that would be nice so obviously I didn't smell it in store because I didn't want to like spray disinfectant in my face so I got that I got um a glade so I showed you guys the fresh pine one I have I did smell loads of the kind of like mold wine and stuff like that and I just don't really think it's for me like there was an apple one like a kind of I think it was a spiced apple mm -mm, no 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 so I got this um and I don't think it's Christmassy and I don't have to say it O-U-D Oud? Oud? It says Oud Desire? Oh I'm probably embarrassing myself uh anyway so I've got this it has like a really nice kind of um, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a vanilla kind of woody effect, woody kind of smell. So I think that does smell quite Christmassy, but not in your kind of usual sense. Um, so how much was that one? I think it was £1.50. Oh, that was £1. The Dettol was £2. That's what I mean, guys. Like £2 for this or like 70p for this giant one. And the Dettol one, how much do you get in that? 400 millilitres, so it's nearly half the amount as well. That's why I don't like buying stuff with like a brand name, because you do just pay more. Anyway, um, eyelashes. I'm pretty sure these ones are the ones I'm wearing right now, but I can't quite remember. Eye Law Exaggerate, you pay less than half price getting them from B&M. So I got two boxes of those. Um, hello, mister. I know, you're being a bit needy. Got another just Radox kind of shower gel kind of thing. How much was that? So the eyelashes were £2.49 and the Radox shower gel was £1.50, but it's a massive one. And then let's move on to Christmas stuff. Um, oh, actually, these aren't really Christmassy. These are just, I mean, I want you to get some little bits for Rocky to go in his little stocking. Um, I'll probably just use these anyway because I thought these were really good. They're training treats, but they're really, really small. I bought him a pack of stuff from Amazon and they said they were small and they're like this big. So these are really good, like tiny little training treats that you can kind of give them more of. So I got those, but I did get him this for his Christmas thing. So this was, um, how much was this? What the frig, those training treats were three quid. They obviously had the wrong label out because I swear the label said like 70p or something. Fuck's sake. Um, what's this called? Christmas dog stocking? Two pounds. Two pounds for this. So you get turkey and cranberry flavor, uh, flavored bones, um, special chocolate doggo treats. There's like a, um, what do they call these? rawhide I think this is like a rawhide Christmas tree which I've heard rawhide isn't amazing for dogs but it's like a one-off thing and then oh what's that you guys can't see him but he's excited a little squeaky Christmas cracker and this was only two pounds so I thought we'd probably just take them out of here and put them in his little stocking um so that he can have those oh I know it's very exciting and then we also got him a little Christmas jumper. So I did share this on my Instagram stories. I got him one of the Primark ones and I got, he's normally a small, his harness is actually an extra small. So yeah, and I got him a size small kind of Christmas. It was like a jumper that looked like a Christmas tree. Anyway, and it was friggin' tiny. So rather than kind of like, I'm gonna return it, but I wanted to get him more of a kind of jumpery one that'd be more comfy and me and Steve got Christmas pajamas which I know really really sad but they're like red um so this would kind of match and they're really nice and like stretchy I don't know if this will fit him actually it was right so this says three pounds on the label Christmas jumper oh it's three pounds oh I'm looking at the wrong uh it's like They've, the lines don't match up. So these treats, these reward treats were a pound. And then 
this was three pounds. And then the 3 I was looking at was the duster. Should we see if this fits you before we commit? Come on, honey bun, let's, let's try and get this on you. Oh, it looks very small, doesn't it? Right, head through. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Oh dear. How about that? Where's your little leg hole? There you go, there's one leg hole. It's just like having your harness on. Go on, pull it through. <laughs> Every time we put, he's getting used to having his, he has like a waterproof jacket, um, purely just to keep him dry because he's got so much fur and he is getting used to having it on, but I wouldn't say he's, oh, that's perfect. That's perfect, isn't it? I wouldn't say he's the biggest fan, so I don't think this will stay on for that long, to be honest. But I looked for doggo jumpers, like Christmas jumpers. This is by far the cheapest one that I have found. Even the Primark one was like seven pounds. We're gonna show everyone how smart you look. Look at that. He's got his little Santa on the back. Oh, you look smart. He's not loving it, but he's not hating it. You hated the Primark one, didn't you? I think maybe this one's a little bit more comfy. I'm gonna leave it on him for a little while so he can adjust to the Christmas spirit because clearly you get your grinchiness from your dad. Um, anyway, Christmas stuff, right, tree flocking. I've gone overboard with this, but I think if I don't use it, I can just return it. So options were snow spray. They had loads of these cans of snow spray, which were only one pound. So, I'm gonna try that. I got four of these um, and hopefully that'll be enough. My tree is seven foot, I think. I think so. And then I also got some of this glitter snow. And do you know what? I mean, I don't know if you'll be able to pick up the glitter. It's just got ever so slight little bits of kind of like iridescent glitter, which I think is quite nice because snow, well, snowflakes do have that kind of like glistening effect so i got a few bags of these which were two pounds each um the kind of flocking that i was looking at basically you're meant to spray it with like water put water in a bottle like this spray the tree and sift it on with like a little sifter um and it's meant to kind of stick so i'm not really sure how this is going to work i think this will work quite well can be used to decorate Christmas trees, nativity displays, gloss surfaces, and any other decorative objects. So I reckon what I'll do is just try this first. If I like that, I'll just leave it. Or I might even sprinkle a little bit of this on while it's kind of wet. So hopefully it just sticks on. Um, yeah, so I mean, four pounds on the sprays and then four pounds on the glitter stuff. So yeah, it came to eight quid for me to potentially flock my tree. I looked at loads of stuff on Amazon and they were like, I think one the one I was thinking about ordering was like 15 quid, but it was just like one box of flocking stuff. And I didn't wanna kind of, I basically didn't wanna start doing it, run out, have to reorder stuff. Whereas I know that if I run out, I can literally just pop to B&M and just get more. And they had so many of these. So fingers crossed. Uh, we're decorating our tree Saturday, so yeah, fingers crossed Rocky, you're looking a little bit put out in that jumper, aren't you? Um, and then, oh, Christmas baubles. I really need to get my Christmas decorations out and check these match. Um, so the stuff that we have at the moment is a kind of very, very creamy rose goldy bits of kind of like silver and white. Um, so I got two boxes, both of these boxes were three quid each. So I got some matching kind of like, they're like sequiny kind of ones. And then these ones, which are four of them are glass with white stuff on them. And then these are kind of like silvery stuff, which also have stuff on them. Uh, but yeah, they're kind of like, they're, I mean, up close, they don't look amazing, especially these sequiny ones have, lots of kind of like bits missing 
but they are very, very cheap. And I think once they're on the tree with other stuff, it won't look so bad. But I mean, if, if it comes to like decorating the tree and I decide I don't like them, I've got the receipt so I can return them. Um, and then this, I'm not entirely sure about as well. So I did film this when I was in store. Basically in my room, there's the TV on the wall and there's just this big kind of expanse of wall that has nothing on it. And I feel like it needs something. Um, and I feel like the thing needs to be that kind of shape, if you know what I mean, rather than just one thing. I've got massive kind of like um, mirrored wardrobes, so I don't want to put another mirror there. But I was thinking maybe something like this would just fill the space because this was only 2 .99. It's just kind of white wicker hearts. Again, the quality of this, not incredible. So you probably won't be able to see, but there's just little bits that are kind of scuffed. Um, but yeah, again, I will just, I'll hang it up, see if I like it. If not, I can just return it. And then the really big expense, basically, when I was doing my dressing room, I really wanted a mirror with lights around it, especially in winter, where it's really difficult when you're in a room like this and the lights are kind of behind you doing your makeup. Um, I looked at light kind of lit up mirrors and they were like a hundred quid. Um, I saw this mirror when I went into BNN like a couple of months ago, I think. And I was like, oh, I really wanted it. And I was like, oh no, I've got another mirror, I don't need it. And then I kept on thinking about it. And every time I've been back, they haven't had it. So I kind of just said, if I see it again, I'm just gonna get it. So it was there and I got it. So it's this bad boy. And I liked it because B&M have loads of ones which have a white frame and they didn't want the white frame. I just like the plain glass with these little bulbs in. And I think it works off of batteries. Yeah, three double A batteries. Um, little bit dubious, I'm gonna get it out now because I have bought a bathroom cabinet from B&M before, which turned out to be completely smashed up. So I am a little concerned that this won't be in pristine condition. Okay, it's a little bit smaller than I thought it would be because the box is quite big. Um, oh, oh, you guys can see the camera now. Right, so that's what it looks like. Oh, hello, Rocky. He's been stood like that since I put his jumper on. Um, yeah, so I think it looks really nice. Just nice and simple. And then how do you turn it on? Okay, oh my gosh, my decorations. Okay, there's literally a switch here, which you just flick on and off. So I'll probably hang it the other way around. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm excited to get this up. I just need to find some batteries for it first. Right. Ta-da! It actually lets off quite a bit of light, which is, oh, look at Rocky just stood there still. Huh? Do you want me to take it off? That's a yes. Um, yeah, so really impressed with this. So this was 40 quid, which like I said, I'd looked before and things that I'd kind of seen, even when I was looking on eBay, stuff was like a hundred pounds for a kind of really, what, what I think quite a simple mirror. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty chuffed with that. Right, I'm gonna try and hang this mirror, then I'm gonna move on to making my kind of Christmas stocking tags. Okay, so this was the old mirror, excuse my drawers, literally overflowing. Um, this was the old mirror. It was a really cheapy wooden one that I actually spray painted. Um, yeah, and this is the new one. So I would quite like to hang it like landscape, but where I've got the hole drilled in the wall at the moment, it's just, it needs to be like one here and one there, whereas I've got like one in the middle. But yeah, I really, really like it. I know it like it's not kind of really bright, but that is honestly going to help so much. Let me see how much works when I sit down. So 
that does actually light up quite a lot, I'd say. So I'm really chuffed with that. Yeah, I just want it flip the other way, landscape, but not too kind of high. I think the one I had at the moment, because it was a circle, it, the hole's quite high. Um, but yeah, still kind of matches everything as well. And then I think that one, I'm going to actually spray it black and put it in the lounge. Okay, so stocking time. Have my stockings, have my tags in here. Yeah, by the way, I got, I'll link these down below, but I got the, I ordered the wrong size by accident, I just checked. So these are the 12 centimeter ones, which are large. Um, I probably would have preferred the medium ones because um, they are a little bit big. But hey ho, we're rolling with it. So what I've done is printed out our names and what I'm gonna do is cut these out, kind of put it on top and go over it in biro to kind of make a dent in the wood to show where I should be writing the names. So I'm gonna do that with biro and then I'm just gonna probably go over it with a Sharpie and I think that'll be fine. Um, this font is, there's a website called Font Spring where you can go on, choose your font and you can type in a word and it will show you what it will, what that word will look like in that font. So basically that's what I did. I chose this font. I can't even remember which one it is now. Um, and yeah, I just typed in our names and then I screenshotted it and then I put them on the correct kind of size on a bit of paper, printed it out shebang so hopefully they will look okay i mean the tags come in a pack of five so if i cock them up i've got two more goes to get it right and i'm not sure how i'm going to stick these bows on so basically they're self-adhesive they have a little strip on the back which doesn't feel massively strong so i may end up stitching this is my little sewing kit. As you can see, there's not a lot going on. I'm probably gonna use this thread if there's enough, enough cause it's like a off white. Um, I don't think the thread will really show anyway. But yeah, I'm just gonna wing it. We'll see how it turns out. Okie dokie, so that is those done. Um, I think they've turned out all right, actually. I did my one first um, because I figured they'd get better as I went along and I think I was right. So my one's a little bit 
Mm. Um, with these wooden stars, I did try using a Sharpie, but it bled out loads. So I actually ended up using this, which is, um, it's kind of like a fine liner pen, but I guess you could use bio as well. Um, and yeah, to trace onto these, you have to press so hard. And then I just stitched the stars on. Then because these are adhesive, I just stuck it on, but then I did put in a couple of little stitches behind there to make sure they don't come off. But I think they look quite sweet, just a little bit different, a little bit more kind of personal. Um, yeah, and I quite like that we've all got like a different colour, stuff like that. So uh, one thing I didn't pick up in B&M because I couldn't find it was, oh, I've been talking with the TV on the whole time. Um, because I couldn't find any was the stocking kind of hook things. So what I was looking for is these weighted things that you put on the radiator covers. Um, and then, yeah, it has a little hook that comes off. So I may have to try and order some online or something or pop in somewhere else to try and find some. That is everything from me, guys. I'm going to log off now because my eyes are like burning from doing that in really bad light. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I will try and link some of the stuff that I got down below if you guys do want to go check it out. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.